Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I hope all of you are doing well and having a great time with your family. For today's Bible verse, I have chosen a very popular verse and we always talk about it in class. It says here, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. It is found in Matthew 5, 16. I know we always sing the song, This Little Light of Mine, but have we really thought about it? Do we just shine when we're in school? How about at home? How about with our brothers and sisters? When they're annoying, do we shine our light to them? I know it is so exciting to be home, but sometimes you start saying, I need some space. My younger brother or younger sister grabbed my toy or stepped on my Legos that I built. But guess what? This is a great time to shine your light with your relatives, even to your neighbors. Remember, if we ask God to give us a chance to help others, to be his hands to show his love for others, it will be amazing. And if you're sad or you're scared or somebody in your family is worried, all we have to do is ask God to be with us and he will grant that. And I wanna challenge you, my friends, this week, be a shining light to this world. Be a shining light to your household, even to your relatives and also to your neighbors. I want you to start thinking of how can I tell them about God's love in this time that people are worried about getting sick or not be able to get the groceries they need. I want you to call grandma and grandpa if you can't see them and visit them and tell them, I'm praying for you, grandma and grandpa. Jesus will take care of you. And if you know somebody who's sick, let them know that if they pray and you will pray for them, God will be with them and give them healing here, peace in their hearts and peace in their minds. And even for you, do not worry because God is always with us. I remember a song that I loved when I was six, seven years old, and it's called His Able. And we've sang it probably just two times this school year and I want us to sing that together and I hope that you will be singing it whenever you can and whenever you need to be reassured that God will be with us and he's able to fix anything in our lives he's able to heal us so are you ready he is able he is able I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He heals the brokenhearted and sets the captives free. He made the lame to walk again and causes the blind to see. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. to carry me through. I hope you believe that, boys and girls. We just need to have faith. Let your light shine because you need to have God's love and peace in your heart and in your mind. And then you can share that with others. Today, there's a packet going home and you will have some construction papers there too if you need some to use for making get well soon cards, or just in a little paper, write 
Jesus loves you or God will take care of you. Decorate it with some beautiful drawings of yours and walk with mom and dad down your street and just give it to your neighbor. And you'll say, Miss Aiken, we can't be too close to our neighbors. And guess what? All you have to do is leave, leave it on their doorstep or leave it just right there in the door handle. You will be surprised how you, even though you're just a first grader, will be used by God to be his hands, to comfort people, and to show that he is able to answer their needs no matter what happens in this world. God bless you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.